Skills modes. What are they? Do I need to know skill to really play music? How can I know which skill to play over this particular chord? The Lockean mode is the seventh mode extracted from a major scale, and it's often not used that much just because it sounds kind of tense. The formula of a Locrian mode has a minor second and a diminished fifth, which are not the best notes if you want to create something really melodic. It's kind of difficult. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about the Locrian mode and I'm going to give you a few, a few tips on how to use effectively the Locrian mode. If we take a look at the formula of the Locrian mode, which is root, minor second, minor third, perfect fourth, diminished fifth, minor sixth, minor seventh, we're going to take the root, third, fifth, and seventh of that mode and see what type of arpeggio we have. You need to remember that even though modes are considered as unique individual scales with their own color, they still are related to each other. They follow each other on the fretboard. The order is as follow. Ionian, also known as the major scale, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, also known as the natural minor scale, and Locrian. And that's the mode we're interested in. Let me share with you two commonly used shapes for that minor seventh flat fifth arpeggio. The first shape is going to start on the sixth string. Here's how it sounds in the key of A Locrian. <laughs> The second shape is going to start on the fifth string. Same arpeggio, but the root's going to start on the fifth string and then the key of A. This is how it sounds like. Let's consider a backing track written in the key of G Ionian, G major. You just need to follow the order of these modes Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Aeolian, Locrian. It's the seventh mode. Just go up your G major scale until you reach that seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an F sharp. It means that over a G major backing track, you can play an F sharp minor seventh flat five arpeggio, just like we talked about before. And it's going to work with any kind of mode that we're going to use. We're going to go through a few examples just for you to hear the color of this particular scale over different modes. Let's check it out. Here's the D makes a Lydian. Here's the arpeggio. So here's just the color of the scale, C Aeolian. Now D minor 7 flat 5. So the key is to try to blend the actual C Aeolian scale with that particular arpeggio we just talked about, D minor 7 flat 5. Here's the scale of A Dorian. Minor 7, flat 5. See how it opens things up? So you want to try to blend both, of course. Phrase a little bit within the scale.
I'll try that again. Here's the arpeggio, F sharp minor seven, five fifth. So that's how you can use the Locrian scale within a non-Locrian context. That arpeggio is so unique that it's going to really enrich your improvisation. The only thing you need to do is, besides memorizing these two Locrian arpeggio positions, is just to make sure that you're aware of the order of the modes. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. That should be you should be um, reviewing these orders all the time. They're used all the time. So get to work. I hope you find this lesson inspiring. There's a lot to, um, to, to be said about the Locrian mode, but this is one of the uses. I hope it helps. And I will see you Wednesday for the Wednesday edition of the show. Thanks for watching. There's more and more people who are watching and I really appreciate it. Thanks for your comments. If there's anything you'd like me to cover, Leave a post on my channel or whatever. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Salut. Oh, the secret code, the last part, S2.